Hey everyone, I'm Tashina from Logical Harmony. Welcome back. I hope that you're having a great day. Today's video is going to be a tuck unboxing. Now I've done a video about tuck before. They are a shoe brand and they have lots of vegan options. They're made from faux leather and they've sent me a few more styles that I wanted to share with you because two of them are brand new and one is like a, a style I've been wanting for forever, forever. They're like some of the cutest shoes I've ever seen. Um, so I will link to the previous one down below if you guys wanna see more from Tuck and let's get into it. So if you're not familiar with Tuck, like I said, they have tons of vegan options. Not everything that they make is vegan, but I've noticed as they do more and more releases, the majority of them are vegan, which is super cool to see. It's really great to see a company kind of like pivoting towards being mostly vegan. Um, now some of their old styles are definitely leather and you know they make it really easy on their website though when you're on the website in the navigation there's a little vegan tab you can click that it shows you all the vegan pairs so i love that they do that it makes it so simple so easy um, they're based in california and san diego and they've been around for like 25 years and the styles of shoes that they make are so unique and I just love them. I really, really love them. I had admi admired them for so long before they sent me anything. And I had almost placed so many orders, but I could not decide what pairs I wanted because so many are so cute. Um, so they sent me three more and I'm so excited to share them with you. So these are the Black Stripe Patent. It's black, it's... I can talk. These ones are the Black Matte and Patent Matte and Patent Stripe Viva Mondo Boot. Now. Faux leather, completely faux leather. Um, so you guys can see they have the little tag on them that says vegan. I did try these on already. That's why it's unbuckled. But I really loved that these had three buckles. They do have a round toe version of this that actually ties. So if you are more of a tie closure person or a round toe person, they have a style that is like that as well. But I just thought these were so cute. Um, I ordered two some like little ruffly socks to wear with them because I think that'll be adorable. I'll have some outfit photos on Instagram soon and probably pop some in this video as well. I just really, really liked how different these were. I like that it's like a subtle detail. That's one thing I like about Tuck is they have styles that are like really bold like you can have like teal velvet or like red plaid like they've stand out a ton or you can get stuff where the detail is just a little more subtle and i think that that's so cute i really liked these i thought they were adorable and this is one of their brand new styles um now i know a lot of people are going to ask questions about sizing i typically wear a size seven or seven and a half in shoes in the tuck shoes especially because most of them are pointed toe i do size up to an eight um it's a little bit big but a seven would be i think a little too small especially with the pointed toe so if you're typically a half size Size like I am just size up you're gonna be okay with that extra space in there and they do have size charts on every page to make it easier but general rule of thumb especially if it's a point of toe is size up if you're unsure but yeah the buckles are really cute I just I don't know I don't know what it is I am super into buckles on things um, they have some Mary Jane styles too speaking of buckles that are adorable so yeah, on the inside, it has the Tuck logo. On the bottom, it has the Tuck logo as well. And then the soles just have a little bit of a pattern. Um, now, I did look up because I was curious about the heel height. So it's about an inch and a quarter at the heel. And then the front is about three-fourths of an inch. So it just gives you a tiny little bit of height. Not a ton, but a tiny bit. So cute. This next pair. I have wanted these for so long and they were always sold out, always sold out. And I am so excited to have these. These are their Western buckle boot. Now, again, going with that buckle theme. And I do have two, another pair of buckle boots from them that I got previously. Um, so those you can see in the video before, but like, can we just talk about that and how cute that is? Like between this detail, the faux patent leather, um, cause again, they are the vegan tuck skin. Um, so between the faux patent leather, this detail, the buckle detail, I just freaking love these. I have wanted these for so, so long. So I'm so excited to add these to my wardrobe. I cannot wait to wear them. Megan Kelly on Instagram, she has these and she wears them constantly. And they're just like, oh. They're so freaking cute. I'm so excited to add these to my closet. And I did also look it up. Um, they are about one and a quarter inches at the heel and about three fourths inches in the front. Again, they do have that pointed toe. So you wanna make sure you are sizing up if you order these. They have just the buckle closure. Um, some, some of their shoes have a buckle, but then also they have like an invisible zipper here. These ones are just the buckle. Um, but I found that they're really easy to 
unbuckle, if you will, because I did try these on. The inside, again, has the tuck logo inside of it, and then just the same sole as the other one. Um, I did get some questions before about the sole of these and if it was like slippery, and they're not. I know that they look pretty smooth, but there's a lot of texture going on there. Full disclosure though, it's not like I've worn them on ice or anything like that. Like there are situations where every shoe is gonna be slippery, but like everyday wear, no problem, no problem at all. I cannot wait to wear these. These are so, so cute. And I do also really like this little extra detail up here, just the little ridges. And this is a little bit elastic, I would say on that part as well, like a tiny bit stretchy. Um, and then it has the patent heel at the back. Just so freaking cute. I, I can't. Mm, thank you, Tuck. I made my dreams come true. Okay, this last style is also brand new and this is their matte steel cap 10 eye boot. I was really attracted to these. They do have a style that is similar already, but it does not have the steel toe. They're both so freaking cute. And I just like that this one is, it's a little bit of a different detail. It's kind of like with the patent stripe where it's like a subtle detail that makes it a little more unique, adds something different to it, but it's not too, it's not too much. Like you can still wear these with everything. So this is a lace up, but it does also have the side zipper. Um, so you can really easily just, you know, have the laces however you want and just use the zipper. Um, I love boots like this. I really like the stitching detail as well. So these have about a one inch heel and I'm not sure about the front. The front looks like it's maybe like half an inch. Just my guess there, I could be totally wrong. Um, so again, these are just gonna add a tiny bit of height, but that's not what it's about. And I just, I, I like them. They feel so soft. That's the other thing too about the tuck skin and their vegan leather is it feels very much like real leather. Um, it doesn't feel like, thick and plasticky. It feels soft and it feels like smooth. I don't know. It just, it feels really, really nice. And the pairs that I have had from them before have all worn really well. Like as I break them in, they just get softer and softer and they continue to look really nice. When they do get any scuffs, you can just like wipe them right off with a damp cloth. Really, really easy to maintain. And these I'm excited about because the toe is a steel toe. Um, so I think that's gonna be a little more durable for people like me who are not the most graceful. Sometimes that is helpful. But these are just so cute. I can't wait to wear these. I love the height of them. I would really, really love it if they came out with like a higher version, like a not necessarily a knee high, but like a taller. I think that would be so adorable. But I really like these. Again, they do have a version already that does not have the cap toe. So you can check those out if you like the style, but you're not necessarily into the cap toe. Um, again, just the inside has the typical tuck logo. The inside of this is actually pretty plain. It doesn't have the pattern. And then the sole is much more of like the tuck boot sole. So it has a skull and crossbones. And then it has the little bones for texture there as well. Um, this is kind of similar to one of the pairs I have from them already. And again, it's just really, really comfortable. These soles are really soft. That's one thing I really like too, is it feels very like bouncy. And they do also all have like a removable insole. I think it's removable on all of them. I was reading that on their website. It'll tell you on each product page if the insole's removable or not, but honestly, you're not, I mean, you might swap in your own like custom one, but whatever, it doesn't matter. They're very, very comfortable, very soft, very bouncy. I am so excited to wear all of these. Thank you so, so much, Tuck. Um, if you guys have checked out Tuck, let me know what some of your favorite styles are. Let me know how you wear your Tuck shoes. I'm so curious and thank you so much again to Tuck for sending these. I, I feel so lucky and I'm so excited to be able to share like more vegan clothing options with you guys. I get so many questions about vegan clothing, um, specifically shoes. Like so many people want like cute stylish shoes that kind of look like leather, but aren't leather. And I'm right there with you. So I'm glad that Tuck is filling that niche. I'll make sure to link to their vegan page down below. Um, I'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you wanna make Juniper's day, make sure you subscribe to my channel here. Check out another video here. And if you wanna to subscribe to the vlog channel, you can check that out here.